guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have something so exciting. I've been hoarding so many beauty products for well over a month. So today's gonna be a massive beauty haul. Everything from PR, Christmas gifts, things that I purchased myself, everything. So let's get into it. If you wanna see all the amazing beauty finds that I've recently acquired, darling, please keep watching. I'm not really gonna say exactly what was what. If it was gifted from a brand, if I can remember, I will annotate that. Yeah, but I wanted to share these items because if you guys would like some of these items reviewed definitely let me know now just in full transparency I don't always use every product that a brand sends me I realize that they're not specifically formulated for me and I will pass them along to people in my life I also recently got this Paula's Choice sweatshirt that I've been living in this winter um so yeah let's dig into all these amazing finds I'm so excited I have not used a lot of these products because I'm that influencer that has to haul things before I use it I have this huge skims bag full of beauty items. I did receive these two items from the Inky List. I got them in yesterday and I've already started using one of these. So the first item that I received is the Hyaluronic Acid Cleanser. You all know Hyaluronic Acid is one of my favorite ingredients. It is a humectant so it draws moisture to the skin. Now I know the word acid in it might throw some people off but it's not anything that's going to burn your skin. It does help to increase the moisture barrier in your skin which is why I love it. So this is a cleanser with Hyaluronic Acid. Now we are in this winter tundra well it's not really a tundra right now but I need all the hydration I can get so I'm excited to test this out and I can finally get rid of some of these packages okay the next item I got from the Ingi list is their new Omega water cream and this is formulated for everyone it hydrates your skin now I did try this out yesterday and it reminds me of the belief aqua bomb so stay tuned I will be doing a video comparing pricier brands with some affordable brands and I can't wait to share that but so far so good I am loving this product the one thing I will say about the inky list their products are really great but the packaging sometimes kind of annoys me but it's a great product so far and I will be probably reviewing it on my Instagram okay next I have the dermatology universal tinted moisturizer SPF 46 I have tried this from the brand and then I have the dermatology vitamin C5 serum and this is basically a serum that has I believe five different types of vitamin C and vitamin C is a potent brightener and antioxidant so I'm really excited to test this out let me know if you guys would like to see a review of this I pretty much try to review a lot of products on my Instagram just because it's a little easier but if you guys would like dedicated video reviews definitely let me know the next product I have is the dermatology brightening eye mask and I have never tried this I've only really used a few products from the dermatology brand overall but I love a good gel eye mask and I like the packaging of this so I'm excited to try these out brightening eye masks are my favorite because they really hydrate that area and right now I need all the hydration that I can get <laughs> I also received another one of my Dermatology Pumpkin Enzyme Mask, which is one of my favorites for this season. And then I got the Dermatology Peptide Night Cream. Peptides, I believe, are for anti-aging, so I can't wait to try this. I'm really excited to get more into Dermatology. Of the products that I've tried, I've really enjoyed them, so these should be good. Next, I had to re-up on my Clean Skin Club towels. Now, I purchased about four boxes, but obviously I'm not gonna share them all with you guys, but the Clean Skin Club Clean Towels are my favorite. I recently discovered that I really prefer the OG whites over the bamboo even though I want to be more of a sustainability queen I just really love these they're thicker and they're more plush I work with the brand sometimes but I still purchase them with my own money and I use my discount code as well so if you guys love clean skin club towels uh, you can always use my discount code it does not expire these are single-use face cloths and they are their perfection okay I'm really excited about this I have to give a shout out to my girl exclusive edition I will put her YouTube channel down below she she posted this candle on her stories and I was like ooh I think I need that and then like two weeks later this arrived in my P.O. box and I was just so floored girl you did not have to do that but you so graciously did and I am so so thankful this is the Cree Cosmetics Baccarat Rouge candle it is a 16 ounce candle and oh my goodness I have burned it once to try it out <laughs> so this is a black owned candle company you guys this smells just like Baccarat Rouge. The one thing that I will say is that this wax melts very quickly. I'm not sure what kind of wax it is. Uh, I'll look it up and annotate it across the screen. But it burns very, very quickly. But this smells just like Baccarat Rouge 540 with maybe more lighter floral notes. 
but it is so sexy. If you love Baccarat Rouge 540, aka Sexy Band-Aids, you will definitely love this candle. I, I it just, it, it gives me rich sex, okay? <laughs> It's rich sex. It's awesome. So yeah, Baccarat Rouge Candle from Cree Cosmetics. You did your thing. Now I want to share some MAC items. One of my friend's mother, who I affectionately call Mama, she sent me this as a gift. She did not have to. I was so floored. Not only because she sent me a Christmas gift, but also because I haven't shopped MAC in years. I have tried one of these products, but not everything, because of course I had to haul it for my girls. So the first thing I got is this little ring light, which is gonna be perfect. I can keep it in my purse when I'm out and about, whenever the world gets safe, and I can use it to take pictures. So I got that, how cute is that? The next thing I received in here, let me put this down. Let's see, it's a Power Glass Plumping Lip Gloss in the color 281, pout last night, period. This looks like a uh, Bordeaux color. I'm excited to use this, this is the color. I love a good vampy lip, so I'm really excited to get into that. Then I also received the MAC Power Liquid Lipstick Lip Color in 997 over the toe. I did feature this in my most recent Get Ready With Me and I love the formula. It is literally a powder velvet formula. This is the shade. It looks so nice on my lips and it just feels so, so good. Yeah, I love this so much. So I definitely wanna get into MAC again. MAC is like that OG staple, like fun brand. <laughs> um, I just, I really, I do enjoy their lip products and this is making me rekindle my love of MAC. The next lipstick that I received is the Retro Matte Lipstick in Ruby Woo. Ruby Woo is like that girl. This was the first red lipstick I ever tried. Quintessential red, you can't go wrong with it. OG makeup girl staple. I will forever keep a Ruby Woo in my collection, love it. The next lipstick is the Satin Lipstick in Mocha. I don't know if my friend helped her mother pick these colors because Mocha is one of my favorite shades from MAC. It's a satin nude lipstick and it just gives me all the fall vibes. It looks so juicy on my lips like I love a lipstick that makes my lips look juicy because I'm getting lip filler soon but uh, MAC Mocha is a brown girl staple I love it so once again, mama, if you are watching, thank you so much. I am just like, I can't believe I have these little MAC goodies. So thank you, thank you, thank you. The next thing I wanted to include in here is a fragrance. Now I did get this during December and I shared it in a haul, but I wanted to also include it in this video just in case anyone wants a dedicated review. This is my first Juliet Has A Gun fragrance. First of all, can we talk about the packaging? Like, this is a moment. So this is the fragrance. Oh, I can smell it. Mm. Juliet has a gun, Midnight Oud. How sexy is this bottle? So Juliet has a gun, Midnight Oud, to me, smells exactly like Tiziana Terenzi Gold Rose Oud. Exactly. This might have a little more freshness in it, but it is like a patchouli, rose oud. It is intense, it is strikingly bold. This is a very androgynous scent to me. Something that I would really only wear like at night, day, night, something like that because it's very heavy and robust. But I love a scent like this for the winter time so I'm so happy to have this in my collection. Let's keep with fragrance. The next fragrance in my collection, in my haul, I'm so excited to talk about. This is one of the few things that I actually asked for for Christmas. I do not have anything by Byredo, so I got my first Byredo fragrance, and Honey hooked me up with the big bottle, so I'm really excited about that. Do you guys think you can guess which scent I got? It is not one of their most popular scents, but one of my girls shared it on her YouTube channel, and I was like, I need that. Uh, so this is Viredo's 11th hour. First of all, can we talk about this packaging? I mean, this is a packaging moment. Now y'all know how I feel about packaging. It's an experience and I'm here for it. So this is how the Viredo fragrance comes packaged. I got 11th hour and this is the bottle and it comes with like, I think maybe the fragrance notes over here, but this is 11th hour and I will be doing, I think a complete video review on this because there's not a lot of information out about 11th hour and it is a very interesting scent. Baby, you have to stay seated. Yeah, you wanted to be in here while I was filming. You're in the production studio, that's what happens. There's a lot of stuff on the floor, I'm sorry. It's okay. Now 11th hour to me smells like Christmas. This is maybe 
saffron, pine, tobacco, a little bit of citrus, maybe pomegranate and rose. It smells like Christmas, so that's why I asked for it for Christmas. This is a beautiful scent. Now, I will say it does not last long on me at all. And if I had paid the three or four hundred dollars, however much this big bottle costs, if I had paid that myself, she'd be going back. I'm definitely going to decant her and keep it with me. I hate doing that, but this scent is too beautiful to let go. The lasting power is just really horrible on me. Now that may be my body chemistry, I'm not sure. Yeah, that's the Christmas scent. Now I have two more fragrances that I want to share. The first is a scent that I bought for my friend, I think last year, and it smells so good, but I don't know why I couldn't pull the trigger. I think it's because it's really similar to another fragrance in my collection, and that is none other than Burberry Her. I'm gonna take her out of the packaging. I'm so excited I can now use her and throw the packaging away. Oh my goodness. You all, Burberry Her. She is a dream. This is like a pretty girl scent also. She's just everything. <sighs> oh my goodness, you guys. Now, the one thing that I really love about this is this is really similar to Maison Francis Kirkjohn's Baccarat Rouge 540. He was actually the perfumer behind this fragrance, which is why they're similar. This is Baccarat Rouge 540 with strawberry. It's more fresh and feminine than Baccarat Rouge. It doesn't have the depth and maybe the ambergris that Baccarat Rouge has, but she gives you those vibes. This is like the wearable everyday version. It's sweeter, it has strawberry in it. It's a fruit forward Baccarat Rouge 540. Oh my goodness, this is such a beautiful scent. If you have Baccarat Rouge 540, you still need this because it's a different vibe. Now my last scent that I want to share is actually one that I got in that haul that I spoke about with the Juliet Has a Gun fragrance. And this is Lancome Tresor La Nuit. And darling, look at the bottle. This is a rose, a juicy, syrupy rose. Oh my goodness. The Lancome Tresor uh, flankers are really, really beautiful. This is a sweet, sexy, syrupy rose. It's deep, it's intense, it's beautiful, it's date night. For me, I'd wear it around the house because sometimes I can just be extra like that. But it is beautiful and sexy and oh my goodness. Like AI the Great, if y'all aren't subscribed to her channel, I will leave it down below. She raves about this fragrance all the time and she was correct. It's beautiful, it's sexy, it's a heavy hitter and it's affordable. I love it. The next thing I wanna talk about is actually an acne serum that I will be reviewing. This is the Terrasana Clinical Clear and Control Healthy Skin Serum. This contains CBG and squalene. Now, I do have to be honest, I'm not having the best results from it so far, but we will get <laughs> into that later. I am reviewing it. This is the second bottle that I have. You all know that I have really, really acneic skin. I have hormonal acne and I have a lot to say about this, but stay tuned to that. But I did want to share this with you guys. I've been using it for a little under a month and this is the unopened bottle, of course, but we will be reviewing this. The next thing I picked up was another fur oil. You all know that I love this so much. I use it in my intimate area, also under my underarms. Pretty much anywhere where I wax that I am prone to ingrown hairs, I use this oil. It's a body hair and skin softening oil. Now it's expensive, it's about $50, but it is really, really good. I am not someone who just likes to throw money. I mean, I get in moods where I wanna be like, but traditionally speaking, $50 on an oil for my intimate area is very expensive, but it does work really, really well. My previous bottle that I'm almost done with, I've had it for well over six months. So I think the cost per ounce makes it worth it to me. But I use this in my intimate area and under my arms. Um, my intimate area every night, my underarms right after I finish waxing. I love this, it helps to soften the hair and the skin and it is amazing. You have to keep that area her hydrated like she needs to be soft smooth caressable <laughs> like i won't get into it but you have to keep her up ladies 
The next item I picked up is the SkinCeuticals Silly Marin CF Salicylic Acne Treatment. Oh my goodness. This is one expensive ASS vitamin C serum, but I cannot live without it. SkinCeuticals makes the best vitamin C products on the market. They are very expensive, but they're well worth it. I see an immediate difference. This is specially formulated for those of us with acne prone skin because it has salicylic acid in it. I really enjoy it. Will I always repurchase? this I don't know like I said I'm not someone who likes to spend a ton of money on everything but it is worth it I just think there are less expensive ones that work just the same but it's a good product Ooh. my next three items were gifts shout out to my dad he watches my channel hey dad if you're watching well he probably isn't gonna watch this but he was watching during vlogmas and he said that I mentioned that I was running low on my Charlotte Tilbury so he sent me Charlotte Tilbury for Christmas like that was just so sweet of him so I got the Charlotte Tilbury magic cream which you all know is my favorite all-in-one cream for nighttime now I have oily skin so I use it at night but it is traditionally a day cream. This is what it looks like. I have used it for probably almost two years now. It's very expensive but it's well worth it. Once again it has hyaluronic acid in it which is a powerful humectant so it really helps to hydrate your skin. I love it. I use it as a night cream. I wake up my skin is glowing. I believe yes he got me girl i don't need you i know what hyaluronic acid is honey thank you he also got me a travel size is he trying to tell me that i'm gonna be traveling this year i don't know but this is the travel size y'all this is my favorite night cream it's so oh it just makes your skin glow and the last thing he got me was the magic eye rescue an eye cream to help brighten and reduce the appearance of wrinkles and this is refillable now he probably doesn't know this <laughs> i am not huge on eye cream i often feel that it's a gimmick i feel like whatever you use on your face you can just lightly bring under your orbital bone and it will probably work just as fine but i am excited to try this eye cream i probably would not have purchased this myself but i'm so glad that he did purchase it for me because now I can try it out so let me know if you guys would like a review on that okay we're getting down to the bottom this is something else he got me I'm like dad you don't even really like you just give me money for Christmas so the fact that he got me this was so cool so this is the solo wave advanced skincare wand I was like how did you even know about this he said that he was watching the news he loves the news and this was featured as like a deal of the day it has red light therapy, microcurrent, therapeutic warmth, and a vibrating massage. So it basically will help to target anti-aging and the muscles in your skin. So I have not used this yet, he has asked me. <laughs> I haven't used it yet because I wanted to share it with you guys. It's this little wand right here. But shout out to dad. Like, the fact that you bought me a skincare tool like huh <laughs> that is just so cool for me so daddy if you're watching I appreciate it truly okay the next item I got I'm so excited about this is actually from Kendra if you guys didn't see our Christmas um, celebration party I'll link it down below it happened during vlogmas she got me this set I think she got one for herself too I have to see if she's tried it this is the Colleen Rothschild discovery collection now I have never tried anything from Colleen Rothschild I have heard nothing but great things first of all how cute is this little bag this is so cute so I'm really excited to use this I have so many skincare items that I need to try so first thing I have this muslin cloth now I'm not the biggest fan of a muslin cloth but if you want light daily exfoliation this is key um, I'm still gonna use it I'm just not like a huge fan overall of muslin cloths but they are very very effective so in this discovery kit I got the sheer renewal cream and obviously I don't know a lot about these products if you guys would like a review I will definitely review them for you radiant cleansing balm this is what I would use with that muslin cloth because they're usually really great because it gives you the hydration and cleansing of this and exfoliation of the cloth then I got the facial oil this is the face oil number nine I hope it smells good 
I can't tell, <laughs> but I'm really excited to use these products. Kendra and I are gonna have to have like a skincare Sunday together. The Colleen Rothschild Extreme Recovery Cream. This is probably a really hydrating uh, night cream. I mean, hopefully, at least that's what I think. <laughs> I also got the Dual Enzyme Polish. You could probably also use this with that muslin cloth. So this is probably uh, a chemical exfoliant. And then the last thing I received is this Clarifying Detox Mask, which I love because I have acneic skin. So this is going to help rid my skin of all impurities, texture, oil, everything like that. I'm excited about that. Those are all the Colleen Rothschild uh, skincare items that I received. I cannot wait to start using them. As you guys see, I have so many goodies <laughs> that I have to use. Now, obviously I do want to make this disclaimer. When you receive a lot of skincare or when you purchase a lot all at once, it's not best to use everything at the same time, especially your actives, which are products like acids and peels. <laughs> the good thing about my skin is that though I am very acneic, I don't have sensitive skin. So I can introduce a new product every week as long as I'm not like reacting to it negatively, but I wouldn't advise you adding in too many products at once. I would keep it to like one new product a week, at least one active. If you're just trying to use a different eye cream and a different moisturizer, you can use as many as you want, as long as you're not having any irritation. Okay, we're down to the wire, to the wire. <laughs> the next product that I have is the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm. Now I received this from the brand. Um, I did an Inky List giveaway and this was the only item that I wanted to keep for myself. They asked if I wanted to give some products away since I didn't need a restock and I said absolutely. I'm really excited to try this cleansing balm because I love a good cleansing balm. This feels very thick. So I will definitely let you guys know how this is. The next product I received is from Youth to the People and this is the Triple Peptide and Cactus Oasis Serum. This is plumping, hydrating, and firming. It has 4D hyaluronic acid. Oh my goodness. This is why I'm so excited to do this haul because I need to be using this now because my skin is so dry. Ooh, this is pretty. So they actually sent me such a cool PR package. You to the people has some really amazing PR packages. They put a lot of thought and effort into it and I just think it's so cool. So I will probably review this on my Instagram after I've used it for a while, but this looks really promising. Okay, and the last item is the Merit Beauty Minimalist Stick. I did a sponsored video with Merit in December and the stick that I have is in the shade, I'm not sure, I think it's amber. I'll put it across the screen and I was sure if it was the right shade so they reached out to me and sent me buff buff is one shade uh, lighter so let me show you guys what that looks like this is the shade buff now buff looks like it will be a little bit too light but I can probably use it as a concealer so you guys, that is the end of my extremely long beauty haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you would like to see anything reviewed either on my channel or on my Instagram. Let me know if you guys would like for me to incorporate more dedicated product reviews in video form on my YouTube channel because right now I mainly do them on Instagram. I hope you guys stuck through it and enjoyed it. I love watching hauls, so they're always fun. I love you guys so much for watching always and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.